hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn with the laravel 8 rest api crud application okay so guys let's get started so first let's move to our editor and we require a fresh application of laravel project or else you can continue in your own laravel project and now guys let us create a crud api so for that we are going to insert with the products demo okay so let's go to a terminal and create a model migration and a controller so guys let's php artisan make colon model where model name will be product with the migration and the controller so hyphen mc hit enter so model created successfully table also is created controller created successfully guys so now let's kill this terminal and let's see the model migration and the controller so first let's go to our database migration and this will be our products table so guys now let's create the fields which we required so dollar table of string where we will insert few data like the product name so name will give and description and the price and the one quantity qty okay quantity so these four details only we are going to take let's save and now guys second we are going to work with model so app models product.php now let's initialize the table so protected table is equal to inside single quotes copy a table name called products done and now guys whatever the fields you are you have you need to call over here in protected dollar fillable is equal to in array format you are going to call the fields so these are my column fields name then description then price and quantity so description paste price and quantity done so let's save and now let's move to our controller and see that controller is created or not product controller is created perfect so guys let's migrate this table into our database first so before that you need to check over here so i don't have a products table inside this database and now let's write a command to migrate that php artisan migrate hit enter so create product table migrating and migrated successfully so let's get back refresh okay you can find the product table so let's open and now guys we are going to work with this as a api crud so let's get back let's close this and yep guys so let's create one function so before creating function you need to create a route so that will call inside your function so let's go to our routes and move to api.php save let's close this terminal let me just remove all this i don't require and now guys let's create one route colon colon post method to insert the data so first we will be inserting all the records so let's tell product product add where my controller product controller colon colon class where we have to call the store okay class add store function so let's go to our product controller so you have import your product controller guys and then let's go to our product controller and create a store function let's get back create a public function at store and over here you are going to take all the requests so request dollar request and then you have to call your model so before calling we will create a variable called product is equal to new of your product model and import the class import perfect so class imported guys and now 
let's call the fields the fields which you have created in your database okay name description price and quantity so let's create that name is equal to and whatever the request you are getting from there that will be a name and then the second is description so this is my column name description and input we will get as we will keep as the script shortcut will keep copy the price price and this also will be price and we'll keep this qty and quantity quantity and after this i want to save it so let's give a command to save function and a return response function where json format we are going to send where tell message with the message as product added successfully and we are going to send the status as 200 which means it is success okay so before doing this we have to do validation of this okay so let's create one variable called validate or else we'll directly create that request of validate function array format and inside this you are going to call all your input fields so this is the name you can give name where required and max colon 191 i want okay same way you are going to copy and paste for all the input fields so this description price and the quantity save and now guys let us test it so let's go to a route and copy this first and go back to your postman so guys we are using postman to test this api laravel crud so let's create with that request over here we are going to post the data so let's click on post and paste the url so you're not going to use this url you have to use your which local server host okay so which is over here so this is the local host colon 8000 let's get back from your executed path local host get back and paste forward slash add api then product and then add okay and now let's go to the headers so we are going to insert the form so for that you have to accept the json application slash json body click on form data so only two changes one is in header and inside form data inside body your form data you have to select and then pass your input fields so what are the input fields you have to see let's get back to our controller so guys, these are the input fields that means requests so let's copy this name paste over here and the value we are going to give for a product name as mobile and the next one is description paste description this is a mobile description and now let's get back the price so we'll give one 12,000 and then quantity qty we will give null okay we don't want to store anything why we are doing like this means we want to check that the output of it so let's send the request you have to choose with the post method with this url let's send okay so as you can see that the quantity field is required right so if you remove this also price and send the request you can see price and quantity fields are both fields are required so same way you are going to get and let's add this 20 quantity and now let's save that let's send the request cool product added successfully and the status which you can see is 200 over here perfect so let's go to our database 
and browse the products table. So you can see guys, we have successfully inserted this data into our database using Postman. So now let's insert another data. Let's add laptop. And this is laptop description. And we'll keep this as 45,000 quantity 20. And let's send this again. Sending request. So the status is again product added successfully. So let's see guys in our DB. Refresh. Cool. So you can see that data is added. So guys, this was the part one of our Laravel API CRUD using Postman. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please continue in part two about how to fetch the data of this database. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.